In Psalm 106.3, it says, Happy are those who observe justice, who do righteousness at all times. In Hebrews 6.10, it says, For God is not unjust. He will not overlook your work and the love that you showed for his sake in serving the saints as you still do. And in 1 John 3, 7, it says, Little children, let no one deceive you. Everyone who does what is right is righteous, just as he is righteous. So I have a friend who works at this place called Bridges to Prosperity. And they build bridges over rivers in rural areas around the world. Almost one billion people around the world don't have safe access to critical resources like health care, and education and employment simply due to an impassable river. So by building bridges, they're able to totally transform communities. Now, the last several weeks, we've heard about different ways that you can build bridges or tear down bridges in your community from Carlos and Xander and Vanessa and from Crystal. And today we're going to talk about building bridges instead of walls. You see bridges bring people together. Bridges connect us all. Bridges help you and me and our communities get to places that we couldn't get to before. On the other hand, walls are about keeping people out. Walls stop us from getting where we need to go. They separate us. Walls keep us from moving forward. In the Bible verses we looked at earlier, we saw a few recurring themes. We saw justice and righteousness. And I think these words are some of the most important words in all the Bible. And they're often misunderstood. You see, righteousness means almost exactly what it sounds like. Have you ever watched someone pick on someone at school and instinctively known? That's not right. Exactly. Righteousness is when things are right. Things are going the way they're supposed to. In the beginning of the Bible, we learn the creation story and it ends with everything being good. It all works well. It's all right. And then things get flipped, turned upside down, just like the Fresh Prince. They get flipped, turned upside down, and then things aren't right anymore. In fact, the garden has a wall built around it. So righteousness is really a sense of seeking to make the world right, to go back to the garden, if you will. And then justice becomes this sense of correcting things that aren't right. You see, sometimes we get it twisted and we think that justice means punishing wrongdoers, but history and scripture and common sense show us that punishment rarely leads to righteousness. So we're talking a lot about definitions and theology and the Bible. It's a lot of talking, right? So let's look at what this means for you and for me. What's the action? You see, when we build bridges by doing things that bring people together, things that help people, things that make the world a better place, we are being righteousness. We are being righteous. We're following Jesus. And when we tear down walls or the things that keep people apart, things that hurt relationships, things that keep people stuck in bad situations, we are doing justice. And so this week, I want you to look at your skills, I want you to look at your resources, I want you to look at your talents and your treasure, and, and, and I'm gonna do the same. I wanna see how we can build bridges for the people in our lives. On a more specific level, you gotta know, there's opportunities here in our church, there's opportunities at your school. There's opportunities throughout our community every day. Have you helped out in the nursery or with the kids? When was the last time you offered to babysit for a family, whether it's in the church or in your neighborhood? What about tutoring at La Samia when they get back going? Have you done it in the past? You could volunteer at Laundry Love. Obviously, you know that one's near and dear to my heart. Do you stand up for kids at your school who are being picked on? or bullied? Do you share what you have with kids who have less? When you talk to your friends, your siblings, your parents, are you building bridges of connection? Or are you building walls of division? 
Jesus said that every time we serve someone in need, it's the same as serving him. So as we go throughout this next week, let's really be intentional. Let's really try to build bridges and not walls.